Now, <clears throat> in this work, in this drawing, scheduling is very important. Let's see, we have cable trays. First, I'll remove this grouping. Ungroup. All right. I need to create one material semital takeoff or scheduling for this one. So your client will ask you, they need to purchase, so they need to know how many, uh, just the cable tray quantity and material quantities. So I'll create fittings, and group. I'll create one for fittings, the second one for cable tray uh, schedules. So we go here first. In this one, quantity, schedules and quantity, right click there, then new schedules quantity. So what, from here we'll choose the category I need. I have cable tray fitting, the other one is cable tray. First cable tray, from here name, you need to give it name. Cable tray schedule, I'll keep it that way, then press OK. Then from here, <clears throat> those are the fields name, anything you chose, it will come like a title, OK. So from here, what do you need? Just mention it. First, I need count, okay. I need uh, sizes, press S, size, I need it. Another things, let's see, widths, I need it. Height, I want this one. Let's say I need this part only. So name, name is important, <coughs> do we have here? Or family and type. Okay, family and type I can use from here. It's same like name. So if you want to organize, just select the family and type. I'll make it up. This one down. The arrow move parameter to up. So I'll click in here. Up, up, up. Second one, size and width and height are here. So count, I'll put it last. Okay. Then once we finish. Just you can press OK. Those filter sort formatting will come later. I'll press OK. Here we go. <clears throat> this is for cable tray fitting. Uh, cable tray with fittings. Cable tray, cable tray, cable tray, cable tray. Here all of them are channel cable tray. Second one, the size. Now, if you don't like here to see this channel cable tray, cable tray, you can go to field again. This instead of family and type, you can change it into family name only. Press F and enter. So add family, okay. Let's see what family looks like. Cable tray with fitting. Better to see cable tray with fitting than channel cable tray additional, right? So you can remove this family and type, just go to edit under field, go to edit, family and type, by, cl by clicking this red mark, you can remove it, then press OK, OK. Second, all of them, what you see here, we have so many 300 by 75, 300 by 75, so it shows us here one number, one number, I need the total, and here another size we have 450, 450, 450, so to do that one, let's see what it looks like one by one. I'll go to filter in this area I can go filter or I can go here in these fields so that I can come here to the filter so if you want to filter one part only size equals to from here 300 by 75 only just click that and press ok here we go all the 300 by 75 are filtered but it still it gives me 111 I need grand total only so again I'll go to edit sort and grouping I'll go there so here we have grand total because the reason why it's coming 111 because of this optimize every instance is on if I remove that one and I'll make grand total then press ok here now you see 300 by 75 we have now how many counts 17 so the grand total is 17 If you want the another also same thing first you need to go to filter and you need to remove this part because it's filtering only 300 by 75 make none this one and press ok again 
sort make it every instance first all the size will come back now we go to sort back again so first sort by here size it will make ascending remove this uh, optimize and click this one press ok here we go cable trace 300 by 75 we have 17 and 450 we have 3 if you need here also another total click in this again in this part uh, formatting for undercount calculate totals because all of them here family size each of them has its own now heading is count okay count so heading orientation is horizontal so it's horizontal alignment is left make it center so that all the you see the text for the text all of them are in the left side so we make it center so this text will go to the center and it will give us also total calculate totals click ok here we go 13 plus 3 is 20 gives us and the text all of them are going to the center but the rest of them are what it's to the left side the orientation again i will go to edit type let's make it all in general i'll go appearance and then formatting so in sorting we see the size we sorted you can make it ascending or descending ascending is alphabetical order from a to z the other one is from opposite z to a so in formatting the family is here under formatting family horizontal make it center the text will be going center uh, size also same things let's make center width make center height make center and another thing let's see S uh, size i'll go to the size and go to conditional format so if size is equal to here i'll fill it if width let's say if width of the cable tray is equal to 300 mm so background color give it same color then okay press okay then okay it's not shown you don't have widths one moment by the way all of them become in center right when you change them we go to format ah, family center conditional format if size equal to 300 Font size, font size, font size is not equal to 500. So yeah, red color. Look now how it comes. Oh, I go to filter format. Yeah, in count, if the size, sorry, size, in count, yeah, if the size is not equal to, I am in count, so if the size is not equal to, size 
500 give it cyan color so let's remove we don't have five <laughs> sorry guys you can give it here the conditional formatting system by what's in here size no count yeah count first we go to count if the count numbers it is less than now if the width is not equal to 500 under count if the width is not equal to 500 I give it cyan or if it is not equal to 300 I'll give it cyan color then it will change we don't have any not equal to 300 Count with four fifty. Give us one color. Something will be taken here. I'll try it later instead of wasting one save. <clears throat> so shortly, we can get the cable trace schedule this way. We have here the cable trace size 300 by 75. So we have total 17. The other one cable trace fitting 450 by 75. We have three. Again, I'll create another schedule. New schedule for the fittings. Cable tray fitting, click there and press OK. So from here, type family, add, then the bend or fitting, add there, type, and count. Bend radius over here, it's important. Then press OK. So this way also we can find the fitting schedule. So here we have standard, standard, we have here 300 mm radius, where it's 300 mm counts, our bend radius are here. So if you have anything important, you can hide those bend radius in. And because it's already mentioned here the family type this one is for outside bend this one is horizontal bend they only need the count and what kind of uh, bendings they have so it's mentioned so you can remove this bending fitting by going to the fields bend and fitting we can hide it and bend radius you can hide it from here so to give the total again it's the same concept we go to formatting Sort and totaling, make it grand total, minimize, then press OK, shows in title and totals, press OK. Optimize. <coughs> sort by families. Okay. First, we need to go sort and go to choose sort by families. From this family, make it grand total. Remove this optimize. Then press OK. Here it shows you because it's more important. If you didn't choose from this family, from this sort by family or type, it doesn't give you what you need. So first, the families. We have, because we have different family names then here we need grand total from here you can choose what you need title and total count and total total only so we choose title count 
then remove this optimize every instance then press ok then it will give you the total that one finally i'll check it why it's not coming <coughs> all right 